are at the airport going to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Have you been to Kuala Lumpur before? Nope. What do you know about Kuala Lumpur? <laughs> I don't know much about Kuala Lumpur. You'll know soon. Pavilion Shopping Centre. We've gone to the food court for lunch and we got chicken curry with roti and chicken rice. Yum. Oh, I'm Kuala Lumpur and Ryan and I keep going past this cream brulee waffle place saying it would be nice to try. So we kind of coerced Andy into stopping for a cream brulee. They've given you a glove to eat it, so it must be messy. I'll try it first. I was trying it. Oh. It's the two dessert heads. Give me a try. Oh, that's my love. No regrets. Definitely a waffle. Do you want to try? Fantastic. Also got a Mikado baked cheese tart. And I'm not sure what it will taste like. But we've seen them everywhere and we've gone, we've got to try them, we've got to try them. And like, nah, let's just bite the bullet. Oh. Go to the cheese tart. It's a no from Rye. That's alright. You've got to get past the cheese. The pool's warm enough that mummy can use it, so that's a bonus. It's really exceeded my expectations, what do you reckon? How about you? I wasn't expecting much, it's been pretty cool. <laughs> it's, um, I'm not usually excited by a shopping centre, but their shopping centres are crazy. So far we've only eaten out of the food court of the pavilion, um, but the food quality out of a food court was really, really good. Um, and right now we're at a shopping centre and it's got a whole like theme park in there. And it's like a decent roller coaster. No one um, on it. It's funny because our driver on the way here was like, ah, you don't want to spend four days in Kuala Lumpur, there's nothing to do there. Um, there's heaps to do. We can already see ourselves running out of time. Yeah, we'll keep, cool. keep exploring shopping centers. We'll go out and do more non-shopping center related things. Patronus Towers when we notice everybody walking on these tunnels above the, above the streets and we were like, those look cool so we decided to walk on them. It's like, it takes you straight to the main key points and it's air in here when it's really hot out there so. Yeah, it's kind of like an airport nice. but yeah, we were walking on the street dodging cars and yeah, these were, it's kind of like above ground all air conditioning it takes you. And it's only people allowed in here. It takes you to a bunch of the spots. So yeah, Poland is continuing to impress us with some of the cool city features that I haven't seen anywhere. We're at the Petronas Towers. They're the tallest twin towers in the world. They're at 450 meters. Very tall.
a look at the film Ryan made. Start with the tree. Dinosaur. Dinosaur taking it down. There we go, here's my film. Basically what happened was the man hit the horse, so the horse stomped on him and then the dinosaur came and ate him and then the dinosaur and the horse danced together but I got I lost my patience so there's not enough for it. Pull yourself up. Kaylin's lighter, so she's easier to pull, but you've got to pull harder. Go, so who's going to get to the top first? Who's going to win? Mum or Dad? So there's this video and you've got a little wheel down here and you can change the speed. This is really making me uncomfortable. No, that's a hot dog and a mouse trap by the way. Just got the record. The fastest throw of the day. Take that kids. How are you feeling? A few days ago, when we first arrived here, there's this door here in the lobby, um, and Ryan walked full pelt into it. And every day we've come down, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a handprint there, right there, um, and a face print there. His face and handprint have been in the door, and every day we've come down and gone, Hey Ryan, there's your face print. Accommodation we're staying in has a social hub, it's got a pool table, kids are over here playing foosball. Bad weather outside today, night in, watching goosebumps and eating popcorn. What did I do wrong? Just give me some guidance 
Monkeys, lots of monkeys. craving home chocolate and everywhere we've been the Cadbury dairy milk doesn't taste like at home it's terrible. Um, so basically Malaysia has been the closest to home we found both a Malaysian Cadbury and a Australian Cadbury block um, and we got one piece of each to see if they can tell the difference in which one they prefer everybody have the left piece Eat the right piece, and I want to know which one you think is a Malaysian and which one you prefer. Or if they taste exactly the same. Right is Malaysian, left is Australian. You're both wrong. Left was left was Malaysian, right was Australian. Which was nicer, or are they both like much of a much of Oh, Mum's changed her tune. Can you try again? Tomorrow we've got an early flight. We have to get up at 3am to catch a plane to go to the Philippines. We've been in Poland for four days now. It's been really great. We didn't have follow from Malaysia higher for our bucket list of places to go. And we booked here as a stopgap to go to the Philippines. And it's been fantastic. We've enjoyed the city. There's been lots to do, lots to see. The food's been great, it's been really cost effective and it's made us really want to explore Malaysia more and we're hoping to get back.